you know, not like a show intro or anything, but uh, I think we're live now. And hey, guys, welcome to another episode of the Typical Skeptic Podcast. Look who I have with me. Uh, this was came highly requested by my friend Angel Lori, and I have to thank Angel Lori for recommending these amazing ladies to me. Um, I have with me today. I have the uh, the Trinity Oracles. It's it's usually three sisters, but two of them are here today. I have with me Jasmine and Erica. Um, they have been psychic since childhood. After naturally being able to read oracle cards for each other and just have fun, they just started decided to start their own business and help others use their natural gift. Their goal was to never give a reading based on what traditional oracles say because that's what other psychics do. They learn truly to connect with their spirit guides and angels and get true guidance from themselves and others. That's what sets Trinity Oracles apart from other psychics and oracle readers is the ability to connect and give personal guidance from channeling not just solely from the guidebook and their website is trinityoracles.com slash about us. And um, I just wanted to say, I, mean, I saw Maya was in the chat. Hi Maya. Uh, I, yeah. But what I want to do is I want to give the girls a good interview first. And you say so you guys get a chance to know them and then we'll, we'll, we'll get into readings here in a little bit. So you guys can start putting your questions in the chat. If you want to super chat, that's fine. If you want to PayPal, that's fine. You don't have to, you can just put your questions in the chat. But uh, with all that said, uh, I'd like to give them a big warm welcome to the show. Jasmine, Erica, thank you for joining me. How are you? Great, great. great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm really glad to have you guys here. It's a, it's a real blessing. Um, so let me ask you this. Like, how did this all start for you guys? Like, are you are you guys like uh, birth sisters? Like, are you are, are and and do you, and do, did you always have the gift growing up? Yes. But each of us had different gifts. So and each of us had different experiences. So you might say, oh, what was your experience, you know, growing up with psychic abilities? And mine is one way. Erica's is the other way. She had like ghosts and stuff talking to her at night, animals talking to her and all sorts of stuff. And then Candace has different ones. So it's like <laughs> we're all across the psychic spectrum. <laughs> yes. And we have all the psychic gifts. We have all the clears. Both both of you each have all your clairs, or does does one have more gifts than the other, or one have different yeah, gifts than the other? I don't have all the clairs. Yeah, yeah, I, I have what the five clairs, and then you have what? I have the uh, hearing, and I see see things. Yeah, and Candace is more feeling, and hers is seeing, uh, dream and interpretation, and dream interpretation, and stuff like that. So between the three of us, like we we cover it all from mediumship to pet readings to. Dream interpretation to she does Peaking. sketching yeah. or like intuitive sketching. I do spiritual life coaching, energy work. Like <laughs> I do, I'm the We're a one stop shop. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And we teach how to read oracle cards. So yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, and you guys are also really connected to animals. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. It's more of Erica's expertise. We all can read animals, but she is she's the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So tell me about what it was like growing up in a family of um, where all the girls are psychics. Like, were, was your mom and grandma um, psychics as well? Not by trade. It's more of like they're psychic, but they wouldn't consider themselves psychic. Just like they just say they just know things. Yeah. Or, Plus, they were religious, so they didn't accept that label. They're just like, oh, I just know things. Yeah. Or, my, you know, God is, is speaking to me more of that element. Yeah, we grew up religious also. We never even talked about it. We just thought, I guess kind of everyone's having an experience. To <laughs> be quite honest. <laughs> like, no. hey, you didn't see that? You didn't, you didn't get that? That was going to happen? I'm like, no. I'm like, of course that was going to happen. <laughs> Not until we got older, then we started disclosing, like, that we were, we were like, oh. Yeah, like, you know, Eric, I'm seeing this, I'm feeling this. And she's like, me too. Like, <laughs> I had this dream, and then it came true. And they're like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we were all in a circle at, like, nine years old. Like, yeah, it just, oh. runs, it's just something that runs in the family. Okay. We, you know, we assume it runs in the family. Because, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so when did you guys first start realizing that you were psychic? Did you, did you, and did you like kind of play psychic games when you were kids or like, or did you, did it develop when you were in your teens or how did it all happen? Would you say? Well, for me personally, I've always been psychic, but I didn't know like the term psychic. Like I always, like my dominant clear is clear cognizant. So I know things, I just know them without even having an explanation why. So I would, my friends would come up to me and be like, oh, what do you think about this, you know, this guy or this girl? And I'm like, oh, it's not going to last, you know, it's probably going to end like this. And they're like this. And then six months later, 
exactly how I said it, it would happen. My friends knew I was psychic before I knew I was psychic. So they were using me. <laughs> I was just like so naive. I was like, la, 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 la. You know, it's just, just a coincidence. I know things. I don't know how to explain it. Like, that's how, that was, that was me. And then I have like a freaky story, but I'll tell that, tell that out to Erica. <laughs> yeah, that just had for me. I just um, always heard things all the time. And I'd always see like dark shadows walking through the house. And I just thought everyone else saw them. So I really, I never mentioned it, but I used to meditate. I started meditating in high school. And that's why I actually started hearing voices. So I guess I kind of opened myself up to some frequency of hearing. And it freaked me out. And I really thought for honestly, for a good year, I was schizophrenic. But then I noticed it only happened when I was meditating. So I'm like, I can't, I can't be crazy. This only happens, you know. Yeah. And then I turned it off. I scared me. So I turned it off. And when I was ready, I was able to turn it back on and use it for, you know, readings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing because a lot of times people have to like train that ability. Like, you know, sometimes a lot of people get flooded with like psychic information and they don't know how to turn the floodgates off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Erica, when were you able to start a, 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 uh, communicating with pets and animals? Like when did you notice that you had this ability to like kind of com- communicate with animals and stuff like that? I would say that's probably in my early twenties. One of my friends had a dog and she passed away, um, Miss Blanca, but she passed away. And I remember he was like, Oh, when I got her, she was already four when he got her from the pound. He was like, Oh, I was going to name her meatball. And she looked at me and she said, that's not my name. And I was just like, oh. And then I told him, I said, she said, that's not my name. And he started laughing. And he's like, you know what? When I got her, I actually thought that. Like, that's not her name. But I did I didn't decide to call her Meep. I decided to keep her name as Blanca. And then I started just reading people's pets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Animal yeah, it's the animal telepathy. And then my friend got another dog. And the dog would tell me, like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, stuff like that. And then take it to the bathroom. Um, you told a good, amazing story on the Jeff Mara podcast when you guys were on there about how one of your clients had a dog and it kept walking around in the background and you found out that it wanted the memory foam. Do you remember this? And could you, yeah, could you tell it? If you... It, was a, um, it was, I think it was a podcast we did too. I think yeah. it was another podcast we did and the dog kept walking around in the back, in the background. And I just noticed and the dog looked at me and he said, tell her I want memory foam. He had like an old man's voice. Cause then she goes, yeah, he hates every bed we get him. He hates, he just destroys it. And I said, because he wants memory foam. And she goes, you know, it's funny. He only sleeps in our bed. It's memory foam, but he loves it. And that's all he wanted was a memory foam mattress or a dog memory foam bed or something. <laughs> that's so funny. It's like they're, yeah. they're the, pet, the pets are just like us. They're like, they're just like humans. You know yeah. what I mean? And then he told her also, don't get another dog. He didn't want another dog in the house. And she goes, you know, it's funny. Last night I was looking at like a, animal adoption or something like that her friend said oh there's a puppy up for adoption i was thinking about getting it he was like don't get that dog (laughs) and she was like oh my god (laughs) that's funny um so jasmine can you tell us a little bit about like your exploration of your clairs like when did you start finding out like that you could turn them all on and like that you had access to them Oh, wow. I have one of these stories, either believe it or you don't. It's going to be one of those stories. <laughs> so <laughs> I remember I was in like a 99 cent store. So like I always had Claire Cognizance. It's always they a new thing. But huh? they closing all 99 cent stores. No. <laughs> but anyway, I was in the 99 cent store and I never heard spirit before. Never heard. And I was standing in line and I was looking at these like playing cards, just minding my own business. And I heard this big booming male voice, buy those playing cards. And I'm like, Freaking out. I'm looking around. Everybody, and this is a long line. Everybody's like, <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? No one else heard that. So I ignored it. And then all of a sudden I hear this big booming voice like, buy those playing cards. And I'm like, <laughs> my hands are going shaking and I'm buying the cards. And I'm like, oh my God. I look over my mom. My mom's just sitting there smiling. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here? So I get home that night and I'm like, okay. I got the play cards, like, now what? And I hear this male voice, which now I know it was Archangel Michael. I didn't know at the time. And he goes, you can tell people's futures with those cards. Boom. The, the other part of the story that either you're going to believe it or you're not, I kid you not, I opened up those playing cards. It's called cartomancy. Um, but I opened up those playing cards, and I was doing, like, you know, mess with the cards, trying to see how I could read them. And I knew how to read those cards without a guidebook without learning anything. It was just like, it was like something just like opened up in me. Yeah, it was just like, boom, a light switch like 
just clicked. <laughs> and I was able to read cards. I was channeling things, you know, for my friends and different things like that. So that was the beginning of my gift for uh, Claire audience. <laughs> so, yeah. And then it's just Claire, Claire sentience. I've had gut feelings for all I can remember. And then visions have been just crazy. Once we created Trinity Oracles, it's like our gifts went to the next level it's like they just it heightened it heightened like it's that that's how we do we're like this is destiny <laughs> there's no other way we can explain this you know now i'm getting visions and all these different things mm -hmm. yeah talk talk about that a little bit talk about the formation of trinity or trinity oracles and what made you guys want to put it together it sounds interesting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh for me i was already doing like uh psychic readings like on my own i was already on youtube doing celebrity psychic readings and I kept getting like the intuitive nudge, like you and your sister should make something. You and your sister should make something. So I brought it up to them and they were like, yeah. So my sister <laughs> went to her friend who does not believe in this stuff at all. He is the most, <laughs> what would you say? Skeptic. Yes, the biggest like skeptic. <laughs> so she was telling him about, you know, hey, you know, me and my sisters were doing a psyche business. We're trying to think of a name. And he just like, how did you say he's looked at you as yeah he like, was like just call it trinity oracles and i was just like huh makes sense like he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like he just came to me and i was like well the spirit gave it to you because we couldn't figure out a name. we were trying for like months to figure out a name and we couldn't get one <laughs> we were trying too hard we're too in our what yeah. logical mind yeah uh, it's fascinating and then you guys do a lot of different stuff you do um you do psychic readings you do pet readings but one thing i love that you do that i'd love to get into before we before we do the readings tonight is i'd love to get into some predictions especially the stuff around like i'd love to hear what you guys think about what's going to happen with p diddy because i know you cover the celebrity readings like and the p yeah, diddy yeah. thing's a big thing right now did you want to talk about that before we get into the audience readings and 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 what made you guys want to start doing like celebrity readings and stuff like that you know we are not into celebrities at all like people ask us about celebrities we're like we don't know yeah. but spirit kept like they're like do celebrity readings and i was like i was finding them tooth and nail before i even did it myself i was like no no my god no do it do it do it so that's how we got into it and for us it was the greatest way to prove how accurate we were like it was a big lesson for us to trust. Yeah, we don't here. know anything about celebrities. Yeah. We don't know these people, and then we get their lives accurate. So then people go, oh, if you're accurate about these celebrities you obviously don't know about, you can be accurate about my life. So that's how we do celebrities. Exactly. So it's, it's like a better way than just like waiting on word of mouth. Like, you know, yeah. it's just like, hey, boom, we're going to talk with the celebrity. Boom, it comes true. And then that's how, that's why we do, yeah, that's how we do celebrities. celebrities and yeah. Yeah, so for you guys out there, please follow your intuition. Because <laughs> if we didn't follow it, we wouldn't have entered New York today. If we didn't follow it, you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't be where we are, you know, exactly. today. Spirit saw it, and we just kind of followed it. So. Yeah, I find the 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 P Diddy stuff like really interesting. Like I've been following the case a lot because I I was like a big hip hop head growing up. Like you yeah. know, and and what I I saw this interview where somebody was interviewing. If you guys remember Mace, remember it was always Puff Daddy oh, yeah. and Mace. Yeah. Well, Mace is like supposedly one of the only ones left out of Bad Boy. Like everybody else that was in Bad Boy is like dead. Like little Kim's dead. Um, who else? There's Craig Mack. He's dead. Um, I can't remember who else, but they, they named them all and they're all dead. And then what's interesting is he was involved in another label too. I found this out, which was called Uptown Records. And it was like mm -hmm. Heavy D and I think I'll be mm -hmm. sure and a couple other people and all those people are dead too. So I just find that really weird and I'm not putting blame on P Diddy. Cause I, but it seems, it seems like the case is kind of stacking against him. Like, what do you guys think about that whole situation? And like, uh, what, what have yeah. you been able to glean from it? Well, little Kim, little Kim's not dead. Is she? Little Kim died? <laughs> I think she's dead. Yeah. I, I can look it up. I think I can I look it up. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, maybe it's another person I was thinking of from. Yeah. Maybe. From, yeah, little Kim's still alive, I think. Yeah, <laughs> like, might be dead. <laughs> but with this like whole Diddy situation, um, the first thing I want to tell people is that you guys think R. Kelly was bad. Diddy is like a hundred times worse than R. Kelly, and R. Kelly has some very scandalous, very disgusting, very vile things that were coming out in court. So I hate to call it like I'm just gonna leave it at that because I was gonna say something could be taken the wrong way, but um. 
for Diddy, he's definitely there is a prison in his future. He's not getting away uh, with anything. There's too many of the cards uh, stacked against him. Um, we actually made a prediction about his kids in our yeah, video. We got two accurate predictions already. Yeah, we said stuff was going to come out the closet about his kids. And then lo and behold, his son. Woman, yeah, his was his son Christian, I Christian think. Christian comes, yeah. Yeah, stuff that came out. A lady even has audio um, of her telling him, hey, don't touch my legs. Hey, um, I don't want to be around you. You can hear him say, I tell your captain, I want you. I want her. Bring her down there. And she's like, I don't want to go down there. I, don't I think he's accused of assault and, sexual said, harassment. and like drugging women or something like yeah. that. That came out like when we said that. Then we also said that Diddy was going to use his children to try to save his image. And now he keeps taking his daughters out on like daughter or daddy dates trying to yeah. make everyone like him again. Yeah. So that's yeah. Not but. Uh, one one thing somebody said in the chat was my friend Simo said he said uh, you Bob Rob you're thinking of Kim Porter Diddy's ex she oh, died mysteriously yes. at age forty seven yeah yes 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 and by the way Kim Porter does not care about anything with Diddy she's like he deserves it all she cares about is like her, her kids particularly her daughter she her older son she's like. Mm, whatever you know he's just like his father he's just he's, like his dad yeah. she's like he's unsavable but her daughter she's like um i need to go help them I, I, exactly exactly yeah that's interesting um so what do you what do you think is going to go on with the with the other with the situation do you think he's like he's 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 pretty much done for then or like do you think he's going to serve some serious prison time He's going to go we, he's going to prison, right? Yeah, he's definitely going to, to prison. To prison, and then, like, I think we saw that he might actually go broke or might even claim he's going broke or he might file bankruptcy. It's something mm -hmm. like that. He's going to be using a lot of money, and Spirit said for the rest of his life, there's always going to be cases coming against him of women and men coming out saying that he um, did something to them for the rest of his life. Exactly. Wow. Wow. So uh, let's get into this before we get into the audience readings. Like what you guys, uh, when you were on Jeff Morrow's podcast, you guys did some really interesting predictions. Like if, just off the top of your head, like what uh, kind of interesting predictions have you come up with for 2024 that like we should look forward to, or do you think it's going to be, that, that might be a surprise? Well, I love to talk about this political hot topic and I'm sorry, Trump fans. Trump's not winning. I'm so sorry. I know you Trump fans want him to win and you guys are keeping the hope alive. But unfortunately, he's not going to win uh, this election. It is going to be Biden again. Um, we're not saying like, because we're like, oh, we're pro Biden. We're not for either one of them. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, Biden is going to be our president again um, for the next uh, four years. He's not going to die also while he's in office. He's going to stay strong through all uh, four years. Um, so just be prepared for that. So I'm so, I'm so sorry, Trump fans. A lot of people get mad at us for that. Like they get I'm, mad. I, I'm not. I'm not political. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I feel like politics is a big joke, but I mean, as far as Biden goes, like they could find a better president. Like he's like not a very good representation of like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, they got to wheel him out to like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, I don't know. Even his spirit guides have channeled to us. They're like, he's, he needs to rest. He is too old for this. And it has nothing to do with ageism. He simply is just, too old and they need a younger candidate so mm -hmm. yeah what do you have so we have some yeah. prediction i can read a couple we saw madonna and megan the stallion are going to be doing a collaboration it's going to be a big hit well that's interesting uh -huh. mm -hmm. um I should have wrote down mine. These are hers. Oh, I, should have, I should have wrote down. I would have broke, brought that my list down. Oh, your list is in here, right? No, it's not. I, oh, you took it home? Yeah. Um, I got a, let me see here. I'm trying to remember what I said. I, I said so much. I do see like Laura Bush. Uh, I hear like death around Laura Bush and her family. So um, Laura Bush could be passing away or simply someone, you know, within the Bush family will be passing away. Um, Beyonce's going to drop a skincare line. Yeah. Along with her hair care line that's going to be coming out and spirit always says that beyonce is trying to be like jessica alba oh and she's going to be like doing like you know kid stuff and whatever jessica alba does <laughs> Make ask you guys that. a question do you guys have anything for about like the whereabouts of kate middleton or whatever like and and the the oh. and the royal family 
we did a reading on her and people got mad. I remember that. Yeah. We did we, a reading, but where is she at? Okay, that's a great question. Because we said that she's fine. Yeah. She her cancer, she will okay. This cancer diagnosis is not going to be the end of her. She's actually going to she has a lot of support, the best doctors. Um, so Kate Middleton is alive. There's like no one uh like a there's no fake person being out there because there is like rumors swirling around claiming, you know, that she's passed away and da da da. But they, her spirit guides keep saying they're like, she's alive and well. She's okay. Yeah, yeah. She, she's okay. It's just, you know, she's dealing with, you know, the chemo and radiation, different things like that. But she will be coming back out. Uh, this is my card here. This is her. This actually kind of looks like her. But anyway, yeah. so, <laughs> she'll be coming back actually stronger than ever. Um, and there's definitely, I feel like she's going to be doing like a, a blog or um, talking about um what she went through but also just other parts of different things just being a mom and different things like that but um but she's she's she's, she's fine. fine yeah they said she's okay yeah but they keep bringing australia for her, so i'm pretty like australia australia so either she goes to australia like for a treatment and people don't know what do they call a double so maybe she's doing oh. a double in public but she's really in australia getting treatment mm -hmm. and maybe she comes to england every now and then just to show face exactly that's so interesting. They said, fine. they said she'll be okay. Yeah. But she will come out of, uh, they're using the word hiding. She will come out of uh, hiding. Because she's not, even though she's fine, she's not feeling too well because of the radiation, because of, you know, the chemo mm -hmm. and different things. Like that can really take a toll on your body, but she's fine. We said Megan Mark, not Megan Mark, was it? Yeah, Megan Markle also is going to announce some health issues she has or has had in the past also. Mm -hmm. And also wow. see Megan Markle like a, uh, landing like a major publishing deal. But I also see her in talks, possibly like um, either having her own news station, her own news radio station, or she could be like uh, the owner of it, or she actually is doing the news or something of that nature. Because so, they keep saying that she's really with, I guess her and Oprah are good friends, maybe. Yeah, really good friends. But they friend. keep saying like maybe Oprah might even back her or Oprah might promote her or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Or help her like show her how to be a successful newscaster or something like that exactly or like a yeah news journalist yeah that's the same thing right yeah yeah so like, yeah. More like barbara walters oprah yeah energy. that's what they keep showing that's like the combination she's going to be doing yeah you'll definitely hear more about megan marvel like she'll be back in the spotlight more towards the end of this year Mm -hmm. I keep seeing Kate Middleton bowling. I wonder if she's doing like a. Um, I keep getting a vision of her like bowling. So definitely, I see like a bowling event. I see her around the kids. She's just gonna do a lot where she's around the public a lot. Like when mm -hmm. she comes back, her focus is public, 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 public. I need people to see that I'm okay. I need people to see that I'm alive. I need people to see that I'm real. So you're gonna see her a lot, like in the limelight. And Prince. And, oh, sorry. Okay. No, but they did. I don't know if you got you saw this, but Prince Harry was also brought up in the Little Rod Diddy lawsuit. Did you see that? Um, no, I didn't see that. That's interesting. Yeah. They said that Prince Harry was brought up in the thirty million dollar lawsuit, and yeah, that he was at those parties, and that he Prince Harry was at the parties. So one of the. Okay. Well, I get it. We had a question from the audience. I thought this would be interesting. Uh, someone, a uh, super crew commander, wants to know about what you guys' thoughts are about AI. Like, do you do you, do you feel like it's a big thing? Like, do you feel like it'll like influence the world, or like okay. you feel like it's sentient? Uh, that's a switch. Like, Sorry, that's a that's an interesting switch, though. I think we did an AI video on YouTube or Patreon. I can't remember. Uh, we did something like that. Yeah. We did an AI video. And by the way, Super Crew Commander, love that username. <laughs> Super Crew Commander. I love it. So powerful. <laughs> okay. AI. Okay, the first thing I get for AI, AI is going to take a lot of jobs away, but they keep saying it's, it's in, unfortunately going to take a lot of jobs away for people who are creative artists, such as writers, um, publishers, people who do artistic creation. They said, People who naturally do that and who want to do that as a career, they're basically not even going to have a career anymore because it's like, we don't need writers. We'll just get an AI. So AI is going to be good because it's obviously it's free, it's cheap, but then for people who need to have a creative outlet, it's basically going to make them super sad and depressed because they, they will not, not be able to get a job in the future. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, so people like me, like podcasters, might lose our jobs. Like, I mean, I don't. I hope I don't. I mean, I'm a self-employed contract, self-employed contractor anyway. But I mean, it's it's still scary with AI. You know, I don't I trust it honestly. Podcasters, you know? they keep bringing up people who like do writing, people who do creative writing. They said oh, their okay. job taken away. You're gonna be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, like artistic stuff, yeah. 
Simo uh, Simo says uh, that, and you guys can start putting in your questions. I guess we can do readings, and then if you have any like questions, like we're doing now for the ladies, and and what, we'll, and I'll pick the best ones. But here's uh, another good one from the audience. Simo says, I, I don't think it matters who wins these elections; they're all beholden to AI pack and other lobby groups anyway, which I agree with. I, I'm not political. So, you know, I, but she says, curious if the ladies think there will be any civil unrest surrounding the elections. Oh, ooh. Civil unrest. yeah. Like, because uh, Donald Trump said if he loses, it will be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, by the way, we actually predicted the January 6th insurrection. Um, we're the only psychics in the world who predicted that. We predicted that in 2020, that Donald Trump was going to do it <laughs> that's it amazing yeah we said it was going to be a coup we said donald trump's going to have donald trump's not going down without a fight um he's going to attempt a a, a coup and then boom it happened january 6th and we all looked at each other we were like oh my oh my gosh like it was one of those ones like like uh you guys are really psychic like we know we're psychic but it was like a you guys, like, who would have thought that would have came true? And the you Roe know? versus Wade one too. And Roe versus Wade. She predicted Roe versus Wade was going to get overturned. We predicted it. You predicted what? Two years prior? Yeah. And people were like, "That's not going to happen." And it happened. I was like, "I didn't know it happened." But I don't watch the news. And then <laughs> our subscribers told us, "Like you guys were right." We're just like, "Oh shit." Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, you, sorry, what was the question? Will there be what? civil unrest? Um, with this whole, with this political. What does that mean exactly? What does civil uh, unrest mean? Assume like the insurrection again. Oh, so would it be like a civil war or some or some type of civil unrest? Yeah. Okay. In general. Okay. Uh, there will be, but not a large, not large like the insurrection. It's going to stay more local and um, in lesser populated um, towns, areas, stuff like that. Um, I don't. I see a mass protest. I see Donald Trump standing at a podium. Almost like Martin Luther King when he did his I had a dream speech and then telling the Americans, like, I got your back. I was robbed. And I see thousands of people out there supporting him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, he has yeah. huge supporters. I mean, because I feel like it's like, well, I don't want to get all of the whole political thing, but I think it's like a lot of the countries like so like we feel like our everybody. I'm not a political, but I feel like I, people feel like their rights are being taken away, like at more and more by the day. Like they feel like, you know, like we suffocated by whatever you want to call like the new world order. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So people are looking for answers. And then if you have someone who's like as char charismatic as Trump, you know, obviously he can you know, like make people think that he has the answers, you know what I mean? Exactly. But like my goal is like, I don't think politics is good for any of us. You know what I mean? I feel like it should be a, like a, like a people, like a, it's like kind of like us versus them. Like, you know, like it's, it's, I don't know if that makes any sense. Super like crew commitment. Super crew commander wants to ask, he's, he says about, what do you guys think about a first alien contact? Ooh, like, will there be first alien contact? Just to make yeah, sure. will there be first alien contact? Alien contact though. They've been having <laughs> alien contact for millions of years. Yeah. We talk yeah. about aliens a lot on our Patreon channel. Yeah. <laughs> we just did a video on Roswell. We put it on YouTube, right? Yeah. We just did a video on Roswell. What yeah. did you, I love Roswell. I love the Roswell case. I'm a big uf ufology nerd. Like, what did you, what did you come up with for Roswell? Um, We got that Roswell is actually like, kind of like the desert of the Bermuda Triangle. And we sh they kept showing that it has high frequency and that underground in Roswell, there's like, I guess like government experiment sites. It's a portal for aliens to come through all the time. And that Roswell actually was a UFO crash. It was not a balloon as they tried to put out there. Exactly. And there was, there's been multiple, multiple crashes, crashes but in they Roswell. And in the future, all those children of, you know, the parents or, you know, their kids' kids will tell the story like, there are going to be a lot of books write, written or articles written like, hey, this is what my mom or my dad told me, my grandma, like this is what happened with all the Roswell crashes. And this is a fact. It's going to come out in the future. Mm -hmm. They're like, we're not scared anymore. Exactly. And by the That's way, there's going to be there is two more. Huh? Oh, I was going to say, by the way, there's going to be two. Although there's there's other UFO crashes that we don't get to hear about. You know, they cover it up and all these different things. But there's going to be, we said in our lifetime, at least two more major crashes that are similar to Roswell that will actually, and they're, but they're not going to be in the United States. They're going to be like on the other side of the world. Um, 
that are going to make like that are going to be all over the internet, you know, because now everybody's right. got phones, different things like that. So there's gonna be two major ones that people are like, what the heck? Like this is Roswell all over again. I kept seeing the jungle. So definitely in some jungle area is going to be another another Roswell. He want to know about alien contact, right? They know. But I, I was thinking about this too. I was thinking. I was thinking if we don't get alien contact, do you think we'll at least get disclosure, like full disclosure from the government's hand? And and I don't mean just like. I, and when I let me explain like my definition of disclosure, not just like that aliens are real because i think we already know that i'm talking like do you exactly. think the government will ever come out and say we've had these ufo crashes people have been getting abducted for years people have been subjected to programs like the secret yeah. space program and military abductions like do you think we'll ever get full disclosure or alien contact when and then which one do you think would come first okay that's a great question i'm getting that there'll never be a hundred percent full disclosure they'll keep it as like hinting, especially the United States, especially the United States, they'll kind of keep hinting at it. They'll keep alluding to it. They'll keep their, what do they call it now? They, they have a force now claiming that they're researching aliens. <laughs> I forgot what the new, the new uh, division that they supposedly just started. It's but, not the UF, it's something like, not kind of like Space Force. It. Is it Space Force? Is that I what you're talking about? So. It's, it's something, something the government right. came up And they with. actually have actual fun for it and stuff like that. Yeah, and they're like, we don't call UFOs, we call them UAPs or something, something like that. that. Something. But, but I'm getting also mm -hmm. the same thing. The government, will, our American government will never disclose everything. They said for out of, they said it's an ego thing. They want to keep the American public in mind. So they'll never tell everyone everything because they don't want to make people scared. Like, there's a power bigger than us, bigger than our missiles and bombs, whatever we have, they can take us out like that. So they want to keep us in that mindset that they're, you know, they were the most powerful ones. So mm -hmm. They'll never disclose yeah. everything. Exactly. What do you but think? What do you think about NASA? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, they, they're always says there is going to be a UFO sighting or a UFO landing. They always show it being at a sports event. It's like this UFO is going to come down and people are going to be like, whoa. And everyone's going to take pictures of it and, you know, live stream it. And then it's just going to simply just go away. Mm -hmm. And they wow. always show it like, at a soccer game, a football game. Like, you're just going to like hover and, they won't be able to de deny it. Yeah. And even like hardcore, like skeptics, skeptics will be like, I believe, <laughs> I believe, because it's going to be that just like, boom. But they're going to try and say, oh, it's, uh, we call it some type of 3D anomaly. You know, like how they give you those 3D things that look like they're real. Like the government, the media is going to try and say all these things. Oh, it was a hoax put on by the, the, the event host. And they're going to yeah. try and come up with something. But those people that are there are like, no, that was, that was real. <laughs> literally and they keep showing that the government and the aliens are going to work together and they're going to time it like okay we think that they're ready to see ufos again because we you know people have been seeing ufos forever you guys can drop on december 31st and we're gonna you know be okay with it yeah so they do collaborate they could yep you aliens and government do collaborate you guys and that what about um what about NASA and CERN? Like, do you guys have any information on either of those? Like NASA, like you know, everybody thinks that NASA might have faked the moon landing, and everybody kind of questions like if what they show us is real. And then CERN, they're like sparking up the Large Hadron Collider. They were supposed to do it today during the eclipse. You know, um, I don't know what's going on in that. I feel like they're doing some kind of weird time travel shit. But like, do you guys have any information on NASA or CERN? Mm. Um, with the NASA, um, they do like uh, fake some things. They do, but also NASA does a lot working with um, what do you call it with aliens and different things like that. Mm -hmm. But there are very secret cover-ups with NASA that the world, not even the most uh, what do you call it, the biggest researcher, like you know, who's who like they know they they're who, there until everything. Like they go down that rabbit hole and they're like, man, I know everything. They're like, uh, uh there's things that <laughs> can never be found out. But there's just it's never it's gonna be so secret. But they are showing though. We actually have landed on the moon, but they were saying the time that was it the sixties that something like what's his name Armstrong. What it was Armstrong? Armstrong, right? whatever the guy's name. And they said that when they supposedly land on the moon, they actually didn't. They said that was actually fake. Yeah. They actually land on the moon a couple years later. Exactly. That's uh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. This one's a good one from Angel Lori. I'll start putting the questions up on the screen. I forgot to do that. Uh, Angel Lori says, "Did they see Elon Musk as the Antichrist or the Beast oh. in the future?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's not the Antichrist or the Beast. He's Elon actually very Musk. spiritual, actually. Very shockingly, <laughs> but 
He's still not a good guy. Like, but <laughs> we did a video on but, Twitter, I think, right? Huh? I think we did a reading on Elon Musk. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. But, uh, but it's on Patreon. Oh, on Patreon. Okay. Yeah. He genuinely actually care, cares about the earth. So the next thing you might hear from Elon Musk is him like being concerned about the water. Like, we need to make sure the water's clean because he's got kids. He's like, I don't want my kids being on the earth, you know. So he's actually very concerned about the earth. Is he? He's not the antichrist <laughs> of the beast in the future. He is off his rocker, <laughs> but he actually does genuinely care about the earth and yes. trying to make it better for you know the future. Exactly. Yeah. 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 This is a good one. This one's from E, and he says, uh, "Do you guys ever get into the Mandela effect? What causes it? I feel like it's like time travel or like shifts in that? time." I've heard of it. What is it? I don't know what it is. The Mandela effect is like the, the, uh, it's like the things that like, you know, like how, like they say that there used to be a cornucopia on fruit of loom, but now there's not anymore. And the, um, and the, uh, the, the most famous, why it's called the Mandela effect is because a lot of people thought that Nelson Mandela had died, but he never did. But it's like a large pop- portion of the, the, a large part portion of the earth still believes this. And there's, it is not just that there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of Mandela effects where mainstream society says it's, it's large portions of the, com- of the community for remembering things the wrong way. But it's a, it, I believe it's a true phenomena. And when I say that, I mean like, cause like some of these things are unexplainable. Like, you know, like, like the name for Haas avocados changed. It was H A A S. Now it's H A S S the cornucopia on fruit of the loom. I mean, there's, like hundreds and hundreds of Mandela effects. Like it's 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 a it's a real it's a real phenomena. It's uh it's interesting. Do you get it? Get anything off that? So people don't remember when they shift, or people don't recognize when people shift things in front of them. Is that what you're trying to say? No, it's like like things in the timeline shifted, and like we're noticing it because we have proof of it from the past. But like their people now are saying that's the way it always was. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You, that might be a good one for you guys to do on your Patreon, you know? Like, yeah. that, that would... <laughs> exactly. Wow. Okay. They said there's no Mandela effect. It's more blips in the matrix. Oh, Lord. They keep saying that. They're like, it's blips in the matrix. And they keep saying it's dimensional. And it's they keep saying that like it's dimensional. Wow. Hmm. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah, that's interesting. Does um, the government play with it? Yes. I was getting that too. Like, the government, <laughs> the government shifts people's per- perception. They're like based on like the TVs and putting frequencies in the air. They can shift people's perceptions and thought forms. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. Um, well, maybe we could do some uh, readings. Like, if you guys want to um, put your uh, question in, like, if you want a reading, um, we'll, we'll maybe do that for the last twenty minutes. And uh, if you guys want to start off, you can read me. I don't know if you're able to pick anything up off of me, but I'll let you read me. I, I volunteer for the first reading. Like, and uh, I, I'd love to have you guys read me because you guys seem so t- so tuned in. So, you know, and, and, and you, you don't have to hold back. You can say whatever. It's fine. All righty. Hey, Jill the Capricorn here. She's like, Give oh, no, I was saying it's Rob. What's your last name? Khalil. Khalil. Okay. Okay. And, and my birth date is January 11th, 1980. I'm 44. Oh, you look good. Yeah. I thought you were in your 20s. I thought you were like, I thought you were like maybe 30. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a compliment. Thank you. That, yeah, that's for really... real. For real. First things first. They're going straight to your health. You need to. Um, stay on top of colon health. I don't know. You don't have to disclose it or not, but I don't know if you have um, family history, family history of colon issues. Um, but also, if you get severely backed up, you don't have to answer it. But I don't know if you get like backed up or tend to get like constipated or have harder stools than normal. But they keep saying, please stay on top of your colon. Okay, not colon cancer because they're bringing. They're like that could be co- like. Oh, are you talking about colon cancer? They said no. Stay on top of your colon. Well, no, you know, it's interesting. Like I've had like pains and it's so interesting you say that because I've had pains in like my liver or stomach area on my right side under Mm -hmm. my, under my, um, and I have friends who are energy healers who will like send me energy at night and it takes the pain away, but then it's, it keeps coming back. And, but what was weird was like, and I, I, I'm sorry guys, if you guys have to, my audience hears me talk about this all the time because it's an ongoing problem. Like I went to mainstream medical and they did CT scans on me. They did the test where they put the camera over your organs. Nothing, yeah. nothing came back. 
you know what I mean? My blood, mm -hmm. my blood work had come back fine, but this pain still exists. So do you think it's, that's what it might be? Colon? Maybe I need to get a colonoscopy or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause they keep saying, they're like, please stay on top of your colon health. Like this is something that needs to be stayed on top of for like your entire life. Because I keep seeing black in your, I keep seeing a mass in the colon and um, they're not giving me like details. Um, and it, it's probably because they more for like privacy. Um, have you ever been in an accident before? Like a car accident, bike accident, motorcycle accident? I was in one when I was in my 20s. Because mm. this is what they're showing. They said it's derived from that. They keep saying, do you think go to a chiropractor? Oh, go to the chiropractor? Do you think that'll help? Did, did, no, did you go to one after you got in your accident? No, no, I didn't. Okay, this is what they're showing. They said your pain is deriving from that incident also with, with the horizon ending. They keep showing it's like when you got hit, it shifted your spine and shifted your organs out of place. And they said everything is compressing and that's what's causing the pain. That's, mm. that's what it is. Mm. Oh, so when I lean over like this, it's probably crunching everything together. Because when yeah. I went to podcast, yeah. I always lean over because I get really interested and I'm like trying to like, I don't know, like I get like involved. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so I'm always like leaning over. not being in alignment, your body's off balance and it's causing pressure in all those like organs where you keep having pain. So your spirit guy said you should went to a chiropractor. Exactly. And they're like, your organs literally cannot breathe properly. So it's mm. like an inflammation. Like she said, with the colon, they say you do need to change your diet. They say you guys be careful with your cholesterol too. I'm I'm a little bit overweight. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit overweight. I I I I, I, I you know I I try. Like I'm I'm starting to work out again. I just got a treadmill, so you know, like I'm I'm getting back on it. I used to be in really good shape, so I have no excuses. Like you yeah. know what I mean? And so say like um part of your oh you have a herniated disc too. Just to let you know, herniated or bulging disc. There's something going on with that spine. It's a bulging or herniated yeah. disc. They also said, I'm going to say this to you, I'm going to keep it real. They say some of those stomach pains that you get like infrequently, they say because you're full of shit. Like literally, literally shit. Like, you're, poop, you're full of shit. <laughs> I go to the ba I go to the bathroom a lot, you know. I, I go to. I mean, I, but I don't know. You have old shit that's in Dry there and, and in hat. there because they say you need to go to a master herbalist. Your spirit guides actually recommend going to like a retreat so you can really get cleansed out, like colonic yeah. energy. Well, I just yeah, I just did a I did a liver cleanse. I did a liver flush recently, which was good. You know what I mean? I, I did a, one of those where that you do the um. I don't know. I, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take your advice. Seriously. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Focus on, they keep saying, focus on the colon. They keep saying that. Uh-huh. And then they say, also, you need to cleanse your space. You actually take, you're actually very empathic. Yeah. You take on a lot of people's energy. They said, you experience paranormal stuff, right? Like ghosts. Do you feel stuff behind you all the time? Especially when you're- Yeah, I have, a, I have a spirit in this room. You're right. You're yeah. exactly right. <laughs> yeah, that person needs to go. They don't need to be there. But they keep that person's just hovering, just like sucking your energy. Exactly. And this wow. spirit is actually living vicariously through you. And they stay on you all the time. Mm, but it's not, not a demon. That's not, it's not a demon. It's just don't like a ghost scared. who just wants to, they don't want to leave. They just want to just live your best life with you. <laughs> well, I, I've had a couple people try to get them out of here. Like my some girls that I was talking to, like they they were kind of witchy. They tried to get them out of here. Like, you know, but I don't know if it, if it took, you know, like you, you think it's still here? Oh yeah, I can see it. That's the line thing still there. That's your spirit guide. To like it's a male presence too. It's not female. It's a male energy. Yeah, that is in there. But they, let me see. What can help him get rid of that? Give me a second. But this is an attachment, though. It this is. is a past life attachment to you. Yeah. So this isn't just this life. So it's no coincidence that you moved into that house or wherever you live at. That's not a coincidence. Yeah. You actually need someone to disconnect you. From Disco that. It's not a soul contract. Give me a second. It's binding. I see it's a it's like it's cords. You you have cords. It's not karma. It's just like um it's just cords between you and a, a subs. It's like the goals. It's just like a connection that you guys have. Yeah, so so someone needs to go in and like cut these cords cord and cutting. disconnect uh the souls. The reason why I'm looking off is because I'm looking into your like um energetic uh field. So that's why I'm kind of like looking off, but you need someone to like uh, cut the cords and then kind of uh cleanse the room uh after. Okay. Yeah. And I do see you taking the typical skeptic. They keep saying like, uh, give me a second. The typical skeptic is going to get more well known. So get ready for more delighted fans. Okay. Um, and they keep showing like enhance your broadcast. Um, like including, I keep seeing like the equivalent, equivalent of, cause I don't know if you're just on YouTube or not, 
Uh, no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Rumble and I'm on audio and I'm on Rockfin. I'm on, I try to spread myself out all over the place, but I mean, I don't know. They said think broader, Spotify, iHeartRadio. They're like, they're recommending, take it there, take it there. Like push, push, push the envelope because you have these, like, they're like, you will have lots more, even more delighted fans because people really, yeah, and more money. Okay. Like also you need to, uh, what do you call it? Oh, dub it. They keep saying do it in different languages. That's what they keep saying. No wonder, because I kept getting, they kept saying, go international. Global. I don't know how you do that. Maybe you can overdub it in different languages or put subtitles in different languages. They said other people in other cultures will love your stuff. Wow, that's amazing. I got to figure out how to do that. Yeah, I never thought about doing that. I mean, because I already have fans all over the world now, but I mean, like, you know, like, I, I don't, you know, I don't have it in other set in other languages. It's just for people who, like, in other countries who speak English. But they keep saying, they're like, please broaden. They keep showing me specifically iHeartRadio and Spotify in my mind's eye. They're like, think like that. Think like that. Wow. That's amazing. Well, I, I, I thank you. That was great for me. And then uh, I figured since Lori recommended me to you guys, I would pick her next. Um, she has an amazing, uh, I, you guys probably know Lori already, but she has an amazing Siberian Husky Thor. I call him an OG. He's an amazing <laughs> dog. He really is. So Lori would like a reading, please, specifically about her Siberian Husky Thor. Thor. Yeah. What is she and you can see Thor? Lori's picture up on the screen. Okay. And thank you, thank I you, Ava Lori, for recommending us. We appreciate it. <laughs> I'll let you pick that. Okay, that's funny. I don't know if she has specific questions about Thor. I'll keep it general. Yeah. Okay, now Thor is an old man. <laughs> that is an old <laughs> That's the person. That he has the soul of an old man. He's like, I've been there, done that. He showed in many lifetimes that he was a warrior. But he keeps showing himself connected to um, Genghis Khan's he keeps saying Genghis Khan's takeover warriors when they used to go in and like take over yeah, they're taking countries. Over the he said yeah. he was with him and he said he had a great time. He <laughs> said he lived his life with no regret. <laughs> That's funny. Thor is very happy. He actually is a very happy dog, actually. He said Lori told me to tell you she's a member of your Patreon as well. Oh, so she's right. representing your Patreon. Okay. How do people and sign up for your Patreon while we're, before we're while we're doing this? Like, what's the best way that people can go and sign up for your Patreon? Oh, so they would just go to like patreon.com backslash Trinity Oracles, and it'll take them straight to our Patreon. Or you can page. go to our YouTube channel. Everything's in the description box below, and you can click on our Patreon straight from there. Yeah, just pick a random video, click that. Description. Okay, <laughs> and I'll, I'll put that in the chat right, right now. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, and Thor is very into his looks. He loves the way he looks. He said he should have made money off me. He's like, he's like, I'm stunning. That's what he said. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I love to just sit like that and just be like, let people look at me like I'm just hot, the hot shit. Like, I, I love it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> he's very happy. That's so funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's funny that he said him, he's going to actually have an unexpected death. So he's like, he wants to prepare you for this. So you might wake up one morning and he might be laying on the ground and you might be dead. So he's just letting you know ahead of time. But he said, I had a great time with you. That was fun. And he said, until next time. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah. But he's letting her know just, just as a warning so she can like mentally prepare herself mm -hmm. and emotionally prepare herself. Mm-hmm. Like, enjoy every moment you can with that cutie pie. <laughs> every moment. Well, is there anything she can do to stop it? Or is there is there anything that can be done to avoid it? You know, with him, I got I got the authority card. He said he's going to leave when he wants to. There's nothing you can do. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to be here anymore. I'll just leave. Because hmm. he's, very, he's, he's, very, he's very a control freak. So he wants to be in control of everything, even his own death. Wow. Yeah. Do you think he was a person before? Oh yeah, he said yeah, he said he was a warrior many lifetimes. Wow, I can see that. I can see that. And that's that. why he's showing that he's controlling, like he shows himself as the general, the commander. He's like, I was in the cafeteria. He was like, I was telling people what to do. <laughs> like he's very egotistical, but like in a good way. Yeah. Very that's why he's like, I'm the hot shit. I'm the hot shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wants her to make money off him. 
I don't know if you put him mm -hmm. on social media or something or get him in commercial. Like he would eat that up. <laughs> he loves the camera. <laughs> Lori, we got to get Thor involved in some commercials. You hear oh, that? No, like, the, 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 we, we got to get Thor. That. Yeah, the, your 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 husky is highly intellectual and highly intuitive. So if you see him acting funny, or you see him like they're like they're like he's very intuitive, like fantastic guard dog. But if you notice, he keeps. I'm not saying this is gonna happen to you. I'm just giving you an example. Say if you notice, he keeps sniffing at your feet. That's like that's all. Why does he keep sniffing at my feet? Go get your feet checked out. Or if he's eliciting odd behavior around certain parts of your body, go get it like checked out. They, they keep saying because he can sniff out things that are going on. But like I said, he's very like intellectual. And he's like, a great you ready guy. for this? She said he's talking to you guys right now. He's barking at the TV. <laughs> hey, boo. <laughs> that's, funny. that's funny you said that. He said that. That's funny. You know those um dog circle, like they can touch him and they can talk? All the buttons that they he press. said he can do that. He goes, he goes, if you want me to do it, I'll do it for you. He goes, I really don't want to do it. But he goes, I'll do it for if you want me to do it. And he'll catch on very easy. Mm -hmm. Wow, he that's amazing. You'll be like, take me outside, woman. <laughs> warm, warm my food well, up, woman. Lori said, Lori said she thinks that he was her son in a lifetime, in one of the lifetimes. That, do you see that? Let me see. Many times. Many I got many times, times yes. Huh. That's amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, do, so do you guys believe that we all like reincarnate in like the same soul family? Like, do you feel like like you two are sisters in a past life before and stuff? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, we don't think everybody reincarnates in the soul, same soul family. Mm -hmm. Some people just go to completely different families. Like, I've done reason people. And I'm like, you do not belong to that family. And they're like, you know, my whole life, I've always liked oddball. Like, I do not belong to this family. Mm hmm So, but some people reincarnate with the same people over and over again. Exactly. Hmm. That's interesting. Um. Well, uh, okay. I'll see. Uh, maybe we'll do one more reading. I, I, I'll see. I'll see who's next here. Uh. I'll just pick someone. Uh. Generally. Um. Uh, how about Dean Thorpe? Uh, uh, we can do Dean Thorpe. He's a he's a comedian. Um, he's like he was in my Discord group. He uh, he says he would love a reading, and he says thank you. He's from uh, across the pond too. He's from over in England. Okay. okay. We write his name down. We would Thorpe. Is that your real name? <laughs> I'm curious because they said they're like Dean. I don't know if you already have a full on comedy career, but they say you are gonna have a full-on comedy career, okay? <laughs> Please don't have any hesitancy with your success because it's, they're like, wear your success like a badge of honor. Wear it like a badge of honor because sometimes people are nervous about getting success or they're nervous about like, where could this take me or how are people going to treat me or do I need to get put in these like secret societies to be successful? Like, it's like there's some nervousness there that you may not be aware of or you may be aware. And they're like, do not worry. Like you, you will not have to go through any freaky shit. Like <laughs> no, 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 no diddy stuff. No diddy stuff. <laughs> nothing like. And they just say, wear your success like a badge of badge of honor, like big time. That's what I was gonna say, Dean. You're actually very smart. Like you actually are on the right life purpose. And they said, don't be afraid to be a writer for other people, like a comedy writer, like you know SNL or whatever Nickelodeon shows. But they say you need to go into that venture writing for other people. And they keep saying folk, they keep showing like sketch comedies over and over. They're like sketch comedy, sketch cast, sketch, sketch, sketch. Like they keep highlighting like, and it keeps saying like, a very progressive uh, future. Mm -hmm. exactly. Wow. That's There's amazing. There's two new major, um, I don't know if you're interested in doing tours, um, but there's two, two or three, um, tours coming for you so and they said they're going to be the highlight of your life so that's going to be exciting look when you get these like comedy tours the reason i'm looking off to the side because i'm talking to your angels over here they're short so i'm looking down too because they're like they're tiny and they're going to be the highlight but let us know when you go on those tours we would love to check it out we would love to check it out they're going to be like they're going to be really really good it is funny though. They even brought up like even to get your feet wet. I don't know if you think about doing like a cruise ship or something like that. Even being a com a com a com uh, sorry a comedic um comedy cruise entertainment, and then like oh. just something to get your feet, just something for fun, and you get to travel. Uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So career is going to be on the up and up. 
they show it going up, up. They're like, keep going. You're actually going uphill and you're actually not too far from the top of being on top of the hill. And we all know once you get to the top of the hill, it's all downhill, which is just easy success. It's very easy. So you're you're almost there. You're almost there. Just keep going. And they said, don't share all your like sketches and stuff with other people. Because they said you will end up meeting people who might try to steal your material. So they said, be cautious with that. Yep. And use your intuition if you know if they, they you know, if you feel they might steal it or not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Wow. Um, well, maybe we could do one more reading. This one's from uh, Causal. And this was uh, super, the one guy's name you like, Super Crew Commander. He's, uh, uh, that's him on the left there. He's a, he's a super soldier. He's like a secret space program guy. You know, yeah. he's, uh, he's, so he's, uh, he's like very, um, he's very, um, he's very psychic himself. He does readings too. He comes on my okay. show and does readings. Nice, nice. Let's see. So that name, that powerful name fits that powerful energy. Uh huh. No, because I was like, it feels so powerful. Yeah, you're a brainy ad. Good. <laughs> Smarter than you let people. Exactly. Like, I was like, he's like one of those people, like, they don't let on how smart they are to other people. Which is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> I never let them know how smart you are. For real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. Here. Yeah, we keep on your brainy app. Okay. Okay. Okay, for you, since you're such an intellectual, they say you're constantly channeling all the time. They say you need to get into gardening. They said gardening will actually be very peaceful for you, and it'll actually be a very a good hobby that you'll do for the rest of your life. It can be doing bonsai and a bonsai club, but they said get in connection with the earth. <laughs> they said you're also going to be writing a book in the future, like a conspiracy theory book, but you're going to have a lot of facts to back up your conspiracies that you're talking about. Um, wow. Number one, they brought up, okay, they wanted to talk energetically first. They say your solar plexus, which is like the stomach area, um, which you know, but I'm just kind of letting everybody else know. Um, it's severely blocked. I'm seeing lots of like uh, like darkness there, okay? Um, they also showed you getting some type of uh, major award uh, within a year. So there's there's something coming for you. I see you holding like, like a trophy or something that you're going to be getting. So mm -hmm. that's going to be um exciting okay mm -hmm. um they said they brought up your mom and i don't know if your mom is deceased or she's here um and you can clarify please let me know if she's on the other side or she's here because all i hear is hold on to your mom hold on to your mom so if you're still there if you can provide just a little bit of clarity if she's deceased or still living they keep saying make amends with people that's when you said the mom it's like make amends with people in your family i don't know if they don't support you or something and they say you need to be okay with that or you got a lot of judgment from your family but you need to be okay with it and they said let bygones be bygones but they want you to make amends with people hey, hey causal are you still in the audience like i i don't I wonder if he's still here he hasn't responded to, to any of this so um, he might have not he might have not stuck around i'll tell him to come back and watch his reading later. But I mean, um, that's interesting. Like, I wish he would have stuck around because then, you know, he would have, he would have, you know, uh, we wouldn't have been able to answer and then we would have known. Like, yeah. yeah. But his spirit guide said that message of hold on to your mom, they said it will resonate for him. They said that they're like, it's going to resonate for him. He'll know exactly, you know, what we are uh, talking about. Wow. That's mm -hmm. amazing. That's amazing. Um, well, this this was amazing. You ladies are amazing. I'd love to have you back on again. This was really cool. Is there anything else you guys want to cover before we finish up for tonight, or anything else you want to that I might have not asked you about, or anything like that? Yes, uh, they're bringing up something else with your health, Rob. Okay, I know you're like, <laughs> dang it, leave my health alone. But <laughs> you're going through a health cycle. So sometimes people go through these periods of like one to two years or three years of their life. It's just like health issues or whatnot. And they brought up for you, and I keep seeing your left, which hand is it? It's either your right arm, right hand or your left hand. But anyways, they keep saying herniated disc. So you could have some issues stemming into like into your hand or your arm, shoulder going down your hand. They keep saying herniated disc, bulging disc. It's like a disc issue. So it's they gonna could, cause that like numbness. Or it, something. It, it's gonna cause something. You might even feel like tingling or something in your fingers, like a, 
a pain, like radiating. I do. I feel that at night when I sleep, when I wake up, my oh. hands numb sometimes. It's a herniated disc. It's a bulging disc. Go get that MRI. Get your physical therapy. You know what? Doctor. Because like I had a, I had a lot of physical jobs where I lifted a lot of heavy stuff. Oh. Like I was, I was in like before I did podcasting, I was working um, for you know places where I would unload stuff off docks and like you oh, know I was, shit. I was like, I was always lifting heavy shit. So now that oh, makes shit. sense. They and, said, and, and, you know, what's it's interesting though. It's like, I never got out of shape until I started doing podcasting full time. Like now that I do podcasting full time, I hardly work out anymore. You know what I mean? I, I used to work out all the time and I used to get workouts at work and stuff, but now yeah. I'm like more sedentary. Cause sometimes I do like two, three podcasts a day. And then by wow. the time I'm done, I'm like burnt out and I'm like tired and I don't want to do anything. I just smoke weed. And then I'm like, uh, eh. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> They said, please catch this. It's bulging. Catch it before it ruptures. You don't want it to herniate because you'll be in grave pain. So you might need to go talk about this pain. The doctor might say, hey, look, you know, we're going to give you a nerve shot or physical therapy because it's bulging. And you don't want They keep saying it's like the donut with the hole. You know, right now you're you're the when the, the cream is staying inside the donut. Mm -hmm. But if you keep doing these podcasts and like leaning this, and stuff. leaning, because they keep showing you leaning like this, leaning like this, and even like your sleep affects it, too. Um, so go, ASAP, go, go ASAP, get that because they said if you rupture it, you got a long time of like rehabilitation. It can even affect um like you're podcasting because you're in pain and you have to kind of stop because you can't you know you can't focus but what, do you, what, what okay, before we finish up i was going to say what do you see about the liver and the colon and stuff what do i need to do with that do you think i need to go get a col colonoscopy like you think because i'm not a big believer in mainstream medical like i try to go to like herbalists yeah. and stuff like that but would you if you were me would you go see like a colon specialist or something like that um you do need to do it. I mean, you need to do a call like a colonic, a colonic detail. You need to do something like that. Go okay. with they said a master herbalist. That's a, that's what you need. I need to see you go to herbalist. Then you go to master herbalist. Maybe like a they can use some herbs to really detox your colon out. Yeah, you know what I did? I, I know you're going to think I'm completely insane for doing this, but like I was in so much pain. Like I was in pain every night. So I uh, I hired a witch off of Etsy. I know that sounds completely crazy. I know, no, I know that sounds completely crazy. No, no, like, I, it, she had a she had an ad on Etsy, and it was like buy this healing spell for twenty dollars. And I was like, wait a minute, okay. So I was like, I don't have a lot of money, but I was like, if I put out twenty dollars, and there's a chance that I could get healed, that's worth it at twenty dollars to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a win win. You know, so I was like, but I probably shouldn't be so gullible too. Like, I mean, but it seemed, but th th then the last few days I haven't been in pain. I haven't been in pain at all. I haven't mm -hmm. been in pain at all. One bit. But you still need to, on a physical level, you still need to treat it, though. That's yeah. The thing. Like, energetic life, she did a great job. It's still on the physical level. You need to get the old shit out. <laughs> no, for real, though, you really need to get it out. Yeah. It's, they say go to a master, a master herbalist, but you still should get, you know, a what do you call it, colonoscopy. You yeah, should still like, get checked anyway. On you don't have to go, like, Basically, they're telling you for a life, stay on top of your colon. So I know like everybody has to get what are the colon scans once every five years or four years. I don't know what, you know, the stay on. You're going to have to trust that Western medicine when it comes to certain things. OK, because there is something in that colon is nothing of concern now, but there could be something that like is not cancer, though. They keep telling me to tell you that they're like, it is not cancer, but there's going to be some some concerning polyps or benign tumors. There's going to be some things going on that needs to be taken care of because they can get like bad. Okay. And by yeah. the way, they said, if you work on this disc that's bulging about to herniate, I'm telling you right now about to herniate. Um, but they said, you take care of it. Headaches will cease. Your headaches will go away. Like migraines, headaches, kind of like pain in the face they keep saying they're like yeah but they always show right here you get like congestion or a headache like right here or something like that yeah like weird stuff you saying headaches 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 i get i get weird congestion i, I have like a lot of sinus backup and shit like that okay. you know for no reason i don't i you know like i don't i don't i don't know uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. yep so they keep saying it's going to relieve a lot in this of the this, pressure of the being yeah they keep saying it's fine. <laughs> You're, that acting through your body off so much yep so, so what do I do? Do I go to a chiropractor or a, a or a? You need to go to the doctor first, get an MRI, see what's going on, and then I guess you can maybe go to the chiropractor at the doctor. And if you want to take your, you know, your lab yeah. and take it to a holistic chiropractor, if you want to go to. Exactly. And yeah. then you do need 
Yeah. 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 You do need to do physical therapy. They say your back is weak. Yeah. And oh, that's it. not right. My back's not weak. I'm strong. I'm strong as no, 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 because they said no. They just said because you're off, so you're gonna have to like kind of recalibrate your body, like balance it back out. I guess you want to say. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and yeah, audience, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make this about me, guys. Like I, I'm not. Like, <laughs> when, when I have psychics on, I never ask for readings. So like this is like a you know like because because you guys same came so highly recommended by Angel Lori. I wanted to get a reading because like I wanted to see what was going on with me. You know, I'm concerned. Yeah. Like because I feel like I have a future for once. Like you know, like my life's been so hard. Like you never like yeah. I, I, I like throughout the 44 years on this planet, it's always been like a lot of struggle. And now like, I, I don't make a lot of money from podcasting, but I see a light at the end of the tunnel. I see, like, I'm good at this. Like, I, you know, like it's something I do really good. And I feel like it's my soul's purpose. So I want to do it and I want to live long and maybe even have a kid to like uh, pass it down to someday. I even know I'm 44. So if I'm going to have a kid, I got to have a kid soon. But I'm just saying, you know, I'd like to be around for a while. Even if I don't have a kid, I'd like to be around for a while to like see what I can do with this podcasting, you know, because I feel like it's maybe going somewhere. You know, yeah, I, I don't know. Broad, they're, like, they're like broaden your audience. They're like, they keep saying, they're like, broaden 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 beyond youtube and i do see a new social media channel coming for you but they keep saying they're like go go iHeartRadio, spotify other big platforms they keep saying broaden your audience and do it fast but they said for you though with the the uh back they said you are going to have to go through you know mainstream medicine but they said it'll be okay yeah like they okay. might just do physical therapy like you know they do the mri and they recommend the physical therapy and then you're fine Exactly. And then, you know, then if you want to do holistic, you know, you can. You go over there, get your colon checked, and then you take it to the herbal and say, this is what's going on my colon. Can you fix me? Exactly. And you might not even be able to get an MRI, but based on what you tell the doctor, they're like, oh, that's just telling me that you have a bulging disc, physical therapy. And they don't even need the imaging because they, because of what you're describing that's going on in your arms and hands and stuff. They like said that. gargle with salt water at night, too. They said that helps you with a lot of your congestion, too. You have a ton of mucus. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. It is true. They say you're yeah. going to be fine. They yeah. say you expand and do different languages, you'll make a ton of money. Yeah, you'll be podcasting <laughs> for many years to come. Like, yeah. this is not the end with the typical skeptic. This oh, is wow. not, this not, is not it. it. You're going to be doing it for many years to come. Wow, that's amazing. I never they thought about that. For, they said look for an expansion coach. I, oh. key, they said keyword expansion codes are kind of broaden what you're doing and expand it. They said, oh, no, they're like, oh, let's do this. And you're like, oh, shit, it's that simple. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I never thought about that. You know, yep. I never really thought about that. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You got, ladies are amazing. I, I love talking to you guys. This is so, so much fun. <laughs> um, would, 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 would you want <laughs> to tell everybody? They said two kids. Ah! They said two kids. <laughs> So, what? I'm gonna have two yeah, kids. Two kids. They, said two, they said two kids. They said two kids. One's adopted uh, though. Oh. One's adopted, or maybe, maybe someone come. No, it's adopted. One's adopted because you have a kind heart. Like you have a kind heart, and you're gonna be, you know, like I, I would love for a like girl though. Yeah. One's a very, a very bossy girl. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're like, you know, I would love to like give them a sibling but i would love to give a, a child a chance who like to give a child a chance like a, a better life and i see adoption one of them is for sure adopted wow i never thought about that that's amazing <laughs> like wow wow I, I this is exciting stuff wow um yeah wow well uh th thank you ladies uh, do you want to tell everybody where they can find you and and thank you so much i'd love to have you back on again you guys are amazing Thank you, thank you. Come back. So, so you can find us on, oh, go ahead. Oh, you can find us on um, YouTube. You can type in Trinity Oracles. We have a ton of videos. We just did a Roswell video. You can find us on our website, trinityoracles.com, where we also have our Oracle Card Readers Academy. You can learn how to read your own Oracle cards accurately, just like us. Yes, and connect with your spirit guides. Yes. Um, also on our website at trinityoracles.com, we actually have a celebrity and world predictions uh, blog. So not only do we put celebrity predictions on YouTube, we put them on our website. We update. We, well, I haven't done it in like a month. We haven't done it in like a month, but we got to get back on it. But it's just been super busy. But we put predictions out like maybe two to three times a week. And if you guys want to see how good we are, go check out on our website. We actually have a um, correct predictions page. You can see the hundreds of correct predictions 
that we have made over the we years. We got to update it. We get yeah. a lot. We get a we lot. Are way more than what we, we just have. Don't on remember. <laughs> we don't know until our um our, our, subscribers. Our, our subscribers tell us. We're like, oh, thank you. Yes, and that page contains the prediction that we made. And we show the proof where we either said it or it was on the blog. So we're not just like full of fluff. You'll be able to click that YouTube video and watch that video and be like, oh, they did say this. Or here's the link to the blog. They did say this. And then we have uh, proof of it. So that's how you can uh, find us, trinityoracle.com. And then YouTube is And then Jocelyn, Jocelyn, you do your life coaching, you do spiritual life coaching, energy work. Yeah. All personal that. reading. Personal reading, mm-hmm. mediumship. What else? And I do the personal readings and the pet readings. So. Yes. Yeah, all the good stuff. Yep. Trinity. All right. Well, then, I guess until next time. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more videos. And, and we'll see these ladies again on my show. And go subscribe to their channels, guys. Yeah. And thank yeah. you, ladies. And thank until you. next time. Bye. Bye.